Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a basic progress bar application with PyQD5 in Python. So before we get started, let me just give you a quick demo of the progress bar application we'll be creating in this exercise. So here let me run the, the application. And here's the progress bar demo. And once the progress bar reaches uh, 10, it's going to stop. And this is the, the exercise we'll be doing. Now, I'm going to import the library first. So from the Qt widgets module, I'm going to import the Q application, Q widget class, and the Q progress bar class. The Q progress bar class is what we're going to use to create our progress bar widget. And next, we need to import the QTimer class. So the QTimer class is going to basically uh, to find a function uh, based on the time interval that uh, you specified. And here I'm going to create a class. I'm going to name this class amp demo, and this is going to be our application body. So kind of like a template. I'm going to pass the QWidget class as the parent class. Okay, now here I'm going to construct my application instance uh, as well as my app demo instance. I'm going to construct my app demo instance as I'm going to name that as demo. Alright, now first I'm going to give this my window a title. So I'm going to name the window title uh progress bar demo. And I'm going to set my progress bar, so 500 by, let's do uh, 575. Okay, and it should make that a little, let me make that a little bit uh, taller, so I'll change that to 100. Okay, now that looks a little bit better. So we're going to construct our progress bar uh, widget first. And for the object, I'm just going to name the object self dot progress bar. And here uh, I'm going to provide the self reference to link this object to our parents class. To set the size of the progress bar, you can use the set geometry. And so here we can provide the, the x and y coordinate. I'm going to set to 25 and 25. And next is the size. So I'm going to set that to 200 wide and 40 uh, as the height value. And based on your scenario or your use case, uh, sometimes you may need to choose a different uh, maximum value. So here you can set the maximum value using the progress bar that set maximum and here you can provide the, the maximum value of your progress bar. So assuming that you want to create a progress bar with, let's do 250 steps. So here you want, you want to enter 250. And this is going to be your default value. So if you want to set your default value other than uh, zero, so you can use the uh, that set value and followed by what's the default value is going to be. So let's say I want to set the default value to 50, and I'll enter 50. Now let's run the Python script by itself and to see what happens so far. So, okay. So, okay, so I took that back. So the set value is based on the proportion of the maximum value. So here, if you divide 50 by 250, you get uh, 20%. So the set value is basically the percentage proportion of your maximum value. So here we get 20%. All right, now, so let me go back. I'm going to change the set maximum value to 10. And I'll set my 
default value to zero. And to make the, the progress bar to run, so here uh, I'm going to create queue timer instance. And here we need a function to uh, increase the step of the progress bar value. So here uh, I'm just going to create a method. I'm going to name this method increase step. And this function of this method will be used to increase the progress bar value by one. So we're going to just increase the, the value by one. Now let's go back to a timer uh, object. So here we want to basically run this function uh, every time uh, when the time expire. So here I'm going to pass the the increase step uh, method. And let's say I want to run. So let's say I want to run this function every so every second. And so here I'm going to enter one thousand, which is equivalent to one uh, one second. And that's it. Now if I run the Python script, and here so our progress bar is basically is now uh, running. So it's increased the value by 10%. And once it reaches to 100%, and it's going to stop. But if we want to increase the step by 1 instead of 10, so I'm going to just set the maximum value to 100. Now if I run the progress bar again, now you can see that basically increase the step by 1% at a time instead of 10% uh, like previously. And let me kill it so I don't want to finish the the whole uh, progress bar. Alright, so this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.